Hi everyone. Welcome to JN's Bistro, the holiday edition. Holiday edition one. Um, I had said I was going to show you my methodology. My method. What I do when I decorate a Christmas tree. <clears throat> so this one is started. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a little hoarse. Allergies have been really kicking it this year here in Texas, in East Texas. Anyway, um, so this is where the fall tree had been. A lot of times when I put up a tree in different rooms, which I have one in just about every room in the house, um, but I have to like empty a spot and do a lot of work. But since I had the fall tree there already, um, it was easy to just switch it out. I say easy. There was a little candle wax warmer on a table and I turned it off before I started moving things around to let the wax harden but it didn't quite get hardened and I bumped it. So I had wax all over the floor over there and a little on the baseboard. So I was down literally on my stomach scraping it and um, got an old knife, finally found an old knife. Luckily it's tile floor and luckily the baseboard is very, very high enamel paint. So I was able to scrape it all off. But it, you know, it took, Took an hour out of my whole process yesterday of getting the tree even started. <clears throat> but I got this one in, got it lit up, and then started with some ribbon and things that I was going to put on it as a base. And then I'm going to put all of the different ornaments out that I'm planning to use. I'm going to put those on the table, which I've emptied it. It had my, and it's still there, my Thanksgiving table cloth is still there. Um which I did this green and off-white that was inspired by this truck. And that's the same thing I'm doing in this tree this year. Um, I'm gonna keep the colors <clears throat> in the, here in the living room. And there's even a quilt that I found that's, that's the mint green color. Um, normally this tree is the Santa tree, it's where Santa comes, and it's a green and very traditional tree. But this year I'm gonna do that tree in the den and have this tree in the living room as one that's kind of a little fancy. So we will see, and I'll be back. And I'm back. Everything has been laid out on the table. I already had it sorted by color, green, black and white, and then the silver gray. And you can see the silver truck there that's part of my inspiration, along with the white one. So I am going to start, or I'm gonna actually add some more to the ribbon and stuff that I had put on to start with. And then I'll start putting more stuff on there. So I'll talk okay. about this tinsel garland from Dollar Tree. <clears throat> I don't really usually put tinsel garland in the tree. Sometimes I'll put it in little sections and stick it in little naked spots. <clears throat> but I decided to go ahead and use it on this tree. But it needs more. Um, my, my main concern was the, the red in it because I wanted this tree to just be the gray and the green and then black and white and gray and white, check. Um, but I realized as I had sorted through my stuff that there is, you know, there are things that are going to have pops of red. So I decided to go ahead and use this on the tree and it's just, you know, woven around and it'll be even more woven around. Um... I was a little disappointed in this checkered because um, it doesn't really show. I should have doubled it up more, um, and I've got more <clears throat> to do that with. And then these are some scarves and bandanas and things. I just roll them up and then tie them and make them a knot, and they look like a little rosette flower. And yes, I've already put a couple of the gnomes on here. They were in a um, separate box. And I'm not sure about the top yet. I've just started on that. Um, usually I try to do that first. Oh, and I put some of the green in the midst of the these pre-made bows. And then I have this that I found at Hobby Lobby that I loved. And I, I had it out all during the fall. Um, but decided to keep it and put it on this tree too. Because I do have black and white check. I have some black and white check ribbon I may add to this. But anyway... I'm getting started. So there it is with more of the tinsel added. I'm not sure if I like it, but, um, you know, 
it is what it is. Um, we shall continue. I had to turn the light out. It's getting so hot in here. And um, actually, with the light out, I do like it better. So, <laughs> okay, moving on. One thing you must always keep up with, your scissors, your hangers. One thing I like to do also is my topper before I get the whole tree finished. Even though sometimes I'm trying to decide and trying to tie it all in. But since I know what this one's going to be, I think I'm going to work on the topper now. So, here we go. Here are two more things indispensable when you're putting up a Christmas tree. A very sturdy stepladder with a handle for the top. And one of these are actually for cans in your cabinet. But they are great for putting things on top of your tree. So you're not reaching across or grabbing or, or falling. And I think there it is. So I think the topper is done. I always do unconventional. So I did this Christmas tree um, from my Blood Fitness Family Dollar. And it says Joy of the World, but you can't really see it. And then I have the Mary, and then some pics of different things. And go around on the side to make sure it looks good from the side. And then this side. Yes, I think I'm satisfied. So our next step is to add some of our larger elements, like the Santa. I'd already put the gnomes, but I have a few more gnomes. And I do have pops of red. And I have this giant Christmas tree here. It's kind of hidden here. And then there, well, there it is. And another big gnome. And yes, I found a fall scarecrow, but he's gray. So he's on the tree. And somewhere is a fall gnome. Um, back there, maybe. Somewhere. Anyway, and she is coming along as we fill her in with the larger ornaments first, and then we'll do the smaller ones. I think it's going to be cute. And we're still moving along with lots of our ornaments. I even put the little stockings over there for now. Moving right along. I think I'm liking it. Okay, so I'm nearing completion. Still have um, a few things left on the table, the balls and just a few smaller things and whatever I'm gonna do with the ribbon, but I'm getting there. It's just time now for me to go and watch the Waltons um, new revisited, the Waltons revisited, and um, I will be back tomorrow. Good night.